So, we talked about the properties shown by nuclei and uh, these properties suggest that there is some kind of shell structure inside and there are energy gaps and that decides shell closures and closed shell nuclei that means, if proton number or neutron number or both they correspond to that shell closure then the nucleus is uh, extra stable. So, many properties suggest this shell structure and hence like atomic physics uh, I we tried on a single particle potential uh, we, where we can fill the energy levels using Pauli exclusion principle mm -hmm. and then come up with some kind of shell structure as in atomic physics. Now, the question was uh, what to take for that single particle potential and then I showed you that people tried with infinite square well potential simple to handle mathematically did not work well. Then uh, this, this harmonic oscillator potential that also did not work well. The first three shell closures which we call magic numbers were reproduced by both of these and beyond that there were problems. So, uh, the both these potentials are unrealistic in the sense that they go to infinity and if that be the potential then it will be difficult or not possible to take out any nucleon from this. But we do know that yes uh, by giving appropriate finite energy one can take out a neutron or a proton from a nucleus neutron pro separation energy or neutron proton well. separation energy. So, the potential perhaps is the culprit we have to go for more realistic potential. So, people tried this is all late 40s. Okay. So, people tried a different kind of thing finite square well potential was one. Now, the effect of finite potential finite square well potential is to uh, pull down the energy levels little bit, but uh, the order and the basic structure did not change from infinite square well potential. The levels of uh, infinite square potentials uh, that uh, order of level almost remained same when one goes to uh, finite square well potential only thing that the values they will come down. So, that uh, shell closure and those things uh, will almost remain the same. Then uh, much more realistic potential where the edge is not very sharp that is another factor which one can work on finite potential finite square well potential also the edge sharply falls to 0. So, you have minus v naught up to certain uh, uh, distance from the center and then suddenly it becomes 0. So, that is another unrealistic part in the potential. So, people tried with uh, square well potential with exponential edges and other things and the best one could think of was Wood's section type of potential. The, the mass distribution in a nucleus goes as that Wood section function it is almost constant and then it gradually falls in a small thickness. So, similar uh, function for potential also of course, attractive. So, invert that. So, the potential is something like minus v naught almost constant up to some distance and then uh, in a short distance it will taper off to 0. Right. So, wood section type of potential. So, it is like this if you have r on this side v on this side it is some minus v naught here at r is equal to 0 and then uh, it almost remains same up to some capital R and then in a short uh, thickness it goes to almost 0 okay. like that is the wood section that you you know it falls to gradually it falls to 0. You are familiar with this we had discussed when we were talking of uh, charge distribution or mass distribution inside the nucleus. If you write a function it would be something like v naught by 1 plus e to the power r minus capital R by a. 
So, this minus takes care that uh, it is negative attractive potential and this r one can take as r naught a power 1 by 3 and this a is from the charge distribution itself something like 5 to femtometers and v naught turns out to be around 50 MeV or so to get the uh, right kind of uh, separation energies. So, these type of potentials which looked more realistic these things were also tried, but uh, the results were the same. It does not really change uh, in any significant manner the level ordering or the magic numbers or the shell closers and all that. So, did not improve much even when we write this kind of potential and solve this Hamiltonian with this kind of potential and write all those energy levels coming in and look for the energy gaps the situation is not significantly improved. So, it is to some extent insensitive to the kind of potential you are choosing. And then uh, 1949 uh, people brought the suggestion again from idea must have come from atomic physics that try spin orbit interaction. In uh, hydrogen atom you have all those uh, H alpha lines and all those things and then there is a fine structure, fine structures means the wavelengths uh, are very slightly different and the you have several lines in that so called H alpha line. So, that uh, um, uh, fine structure was understood finally, using uh, this spin orbit interaction term in the main hydrogen atom Hamiltonian. So, similar story here. Uh, however, there that uh, spectral uh, uh, this uh, splitting or fine structure was very small a small fraction of electron volts. So, that a spin orbit interaction could take care of that. Here the nuclear energy levels are mega electron volts and if we want to change the ordering of these measure levels that uh, spin orbit interaction has to be very very strong, but nevertheless uh, people did give it a try and found that yes it works. And nothing succeeds like success. So, once uh, that term is added things really fell into order what is that. So, in the Hamiltonian whatever Hamiltonian you write here that Hamiltonian will be there finite square well potential or this wood section potential or harmonic or infinite whatever. So, that potential will be there on top of that you add extra some function of r and then L dot s. Remember, we are talking of single particle potential. So, this potential is felt by each of the nucleons in the nucleus. So, it is one particle. So, that one particle has certain L and of course, for one particle S we know will be half. So, this term is added to Hamiltonian. So, H is this whatever original H was there. So, add this term to write the Hamiltonian. What is the effect? The first is that this Hamiltonian after introduction of this term does not commute with L z operator or S z operator. A central potential when you write a central potential some H naught is that uh, kinetic energy term and then V r. So, now if you this Hamiltonian commutes with okay, it commutes with L square operator, L z operator, S square operator, S z operator. It commutes with all these things that is why you can have uh, definite angular momentum square, definite angular momentum z component, definite spin angular momentum square and definite spin z component in the energy eigenfunctions. Right? H commutes with this L square means you can have 
uh, energy eigen function in which this uh, magnitude square of orbital angular momentum has one single definite value. And similarly, it commutes with L z. So, that means, in that energy eigen function you can have one single unique definite uh, value of this L z and similarly for these two. Now, when uh, you bring in this uh, L dot s term here, then with this h does not commute. with L z and does not commute with S z, but it does commute with L square L square and S square. So, although uh, you can still talk of P state and D state and F state that means, the small l is, is definite small l means the angular momentum square l l plus 1 h cross square that is definite. So, you still talk of p state and d state, but then uh, you do not talk of what is m l or what is m s. S is anyway for a nucleon it is small s is half. So, s square will have half plus half into half plus 1 into h cross square that is anyway definite, but whether it is a spin up or whether it is spin down that you cannot talk it is they get mixed up it does not have a definite value of S z. So, both the spins are mixed up in the same state. Similarly, if uh, small l is equal to 1 if you ask what is m l uh, we generally say that if l is equal to 1 m l can be 1 0 or minus 1. Now, here it becomes 1 0 and minus 1 is not definite you can have mixing of m l values in that same energy eigen function you can have uh, mixed up states where m l is 0 m l is 1 m l is minus 1 everything got mixed up. So, that is the uh, first thing about this, but then this commutes with j square and j z where this j is defined by this l dot plus s operator. So, you if you define this uh, angular momentum j which is l plus s. So, j z is l z plus s z, j x is l x plus s x, j y is l y plus s y and from there you construct j square. So, j square and j z both of them will commute with this Hamiltonian even after inclusion of this uh, L dot s. And hence you can define your state in terms of quantum numbers of these and you can ask what is the value of small j total angular momentum. So, this angular momentum total angular momentum of what? of what of that one nucleon of the nucleon not nucleus we are talking of single particle Hamiltonian single particle functions. So, this potential is to be given to each of the nucleons right. So, it is we are talking of one nucleon. So, angular momentum of that one nucleon total angular momentum of that that is defined that is these are the operators. So, you have j j j plus 1 h cross square is the square of that total angular momentum that is this and the z component is m j h cross and m j can have values going from plus j to minus j in steps of 1 and this m j can have definite value in the energy eigen function. This m j will be m l plus m s, 
uh, because jz is lz plus sz so that will be there but these things can get mixed up you can have several sets of ml and ms giving you the same mj right what happens to energy what is a change in energy because of this extra term so we we evaluate this extra term with the state defined by j and mj because these are the definite values these these have the definite values so j and mj in terms of that that means the state we are talking of l is definite l is definite s is definite j is definite and mj is definite so this is the state we are talking of and of course that n will be there n equal to 1 2 3 4 will be there so in this state if we uh, try to evaluate this l dot s l dot only this part let us first take this part s so if you take the value of this l dot s how much this will contribute to the energy so this l dot s can be written as uh, j square and minus l square correct right j square minus l square minus l square by 2 that is l dot s and all these are having definite values now if uh, you you are given an l then j and remember s is half j j is l plus s and s is half l can be 0 1 2 3 4 and so on but s is always half so what are the possible values of this j if l is equal to 0 if l is equal to 0 j is same as s so j is half and if l is not equal to 0 then this combination gives j as either l plus half or l minus half right if you are adding two angular momenta and the corresponding quantum numbers you, you have then uh, say j1 and j2 so j, the final j will go from j1 plus j2 to j1 minus j2 in steps of 1 so here since uh, that second uh, angular momentum spin angular momentum has quantum number half so it will go from l plus half to l minus half in steps of 1 and there is only one step so these are the two possible values now if uh, j is equal to l plus half then this l dot s you can work out this this is j square that is uh, j j plus 1 so it is l plus half l 3 half times h cross square okay. and then minus l square is minus l l plus 1 h cross square and minus s square is minus half half plus 1 h cross this is the, uh, this uh, numerator and this whole thing divided by 2 right okay. this whole thing divided by 2 what i have done in place of j i am taking l plus half so j square this these are the all operators i i should have written capitals j square is j j plus 1 h cross s square right so let me write the capitals l dot s vectors is there so there is no problem here here let me write it j square capital j square to avoid any confusion capital l square and capital s square once the vector is there you know it is that operator thing all right so j square is small j small j plus 1 h cross square and small j is this l plus half so it becomes l plus half this is j this is j plus 1 
times h cross the square l square is l l plus 1 h cross the square and s square is and divided by 2. So, how much is this work out h cross the square by 2 take out l square plus half plus 3 by 2. So, 2 l plus 3 by 4 this part over then this part minus l square and minus l and minus 3 by 4 So, this cancels 2 L minus L is L L L that is all. Okay. Next, this is when J is equal to L plus half. And if j is l minus half, then similarly this l dot s will be l minus half j j plus 1 h cross square. So, l minus half this is j this is j plus 1 h cross square and minus other things remain the same. L L plus 1 h cross square and minus 3 by 4 h cross square and divide by 2. Hmm. These terms remain the same. So, this is L square minus 1 by 4 I will take h cross square out and then you have minus L square and minus L and minus 3 by 4 this whole thing h cross the square by 2. So, this cancels and you have minus l here and minus 1 here. So, that same l now splits in two parts l is same, but depending on whether j is l plus half or j is l minus half the energies are different j l plus half uh, that l dot s term will have this value whereas minus uh, half l minus half it will have this value so energies will be different f r is there remember this f r is also there so, that also has to be taken into account, but the effect of this is to split the energy in two parts okay. and uh, so happens all to be consistent with all experiments this f r should finally, give you a negative sign the magnitudes will come from here, but then this f r is negative right it will give a negative multiplication to this. And therefore, this h j equal to l plus half term that energy will go down and this uh, l minus half energy will go up right and it will go up by larger slightly larger amount as compared to the amount by which it is going down. So, there is some asymmetry and the splitting will be add these two h cross square by 2 2 l plus 1 proportional to this f r is there uh, f r is deciding the whole magnitude, but uh, uh, if you just look at the effect of l larger the l larger is the splitting. Okay. S of course, S state L equal to 0 will not split because with L is equal to 0 you have only one possible values of uh, uh, J. So, S states will not split, but all other states will split P state will split by some amount D state will split by a larger amount uh, F state will 
split by even larger amount and so on because the splitting is also depending on L here larger L larger the splitting. Okay. So, let me just add this L dot S effect to that harmonic oscillator potential because harmonic oscillator potential is easy to remember the energy levels even though it is not very realistic and this and that, but uh, just let us see what happens if I add this to harmonic oscillator energy levels. So, energy is n plus 3 by 2 h cross omega and this n is 2 n plus l. Okay. So, let us uh, draw the uh, energy levels. So, the lowest will be 1 s then 1 p then 1 d and 2 s next 1 and 2 p no 3 s will come here 1 g 2 d and 3 s the next 1 h 2 f and 3 p p then 1 i 2 g 3 d 4 s. Now, put the value put the put the effect of this L dot s term. Okay. Now, this lowest energy of this harmonic oscillator potential corresponds to L equal to 0 s state right n capital n is 0 so 1 s l is equal to 0 with l equal to 0 what are the values of possible values of j yes, only one value half right because if uh, l is equal to 0 you only have one value j equal to half and if l is not equal to 0 then you have two values l plus half and l minus half so with uh, L equal to 0 that means S state you do not have any splitting it is just one level. So, this 1 S remains 1 S. So, this 1 S remains 1 S. So, it is here, but what we will write is uh, half here this half rather this 1 is not very important for me this 1 is already here. So, I just write it half S half this half gives you the value of J. Okay, this is value of j. When I write s half that means l is equal to 0 and j is equal to half. Okay. Then you have next level 1 p. So, 1 p means l is equal to 1 l is equal to 1. If l is equal to 1 then this is spin orbit coupling will give two possible values of j and what are those two possible values 3 by, 2, 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 l plus half and l minus half okay so you have p 3 by 2 and p half 1 by 2 mm. j is equal to 3 by 2 and j equal to 1 by 2 and these two will have different energies and the uh, this uh, 3 by 2 that is j equal to l plus half the shift in energy will be this much plus something coming from that F r. Oh, okay. So, it has to be energy unit this is not energy unit. What unit is this? What physical quantity this corresponds to? L is a number h cross a square angular momentum a square h cross is angular momentum. So, angular momentum a square. So, this is not energy the energy will come when you add that F r effect also and finally, make it 
energy units. Hmm. So, but whatever F r will give some value this as I said F r will finally, give you a negative multiplication the magnitude will be governed from there also, but with a negative. So, this goes down. So, p 3 half will go down and p half where j is l minus half where is j yeah the j is l minus half. So, if j is l minus half then this is the shift this is the shift and you have a minus here 1 minus coming from that f r. So, it will go up p half energy will go up p 3 half energy will go down this will be the splitting this plus that f r effect. So, that means, this p half will go down. So, p half will come somewhere here p 3 half p 3 half will come somewhere here. So, p half will be somewhere here. Okay. Next is this level at this energy level in harmonic oscillator potential you have uh, 1 d as well as 2 s. So, let us first look at this 2 s, 2 s will be unsplit. So, 2 s will just remain 2 s. So, we put 2 s here, this is s. So, s half hmm. with s l equal to 0, so j is half. d, what is l? 2. So, j 5 by 2 and 3 by 2, which will go down? 5 by 2 will go down. So, 5 by 2 d 5 by 2 will come go down. So, this is d 5 by 2 and d 3 by 2 will go up. So, this is d 3 by 2. Okay. Come here 1 f what is the value of l 3 0 1 2 3. So, what is the value of what are possible values of j 7 by 2 and 5 by 2. So, 7 by 5 will come down. So, this is 7 by f 7 by 2. So, this comes down and 5 by 2 will go up. So, 5 by 2 go goes up. That is for 1 f. Then you have this 2 p. What happens to 2 p? p is l equal to 1. So, j is 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. So, 3 by 2 goes down and 1 by 2 goes up. So, this is p 3 by 2 and this is p 1 by 2. 1 g 0 1 2 3 4 j 9 by 2 and 7 by 2 9 by 2 will come down. So, 9 by 2 will come somewhere down here g 9 by 2 g 9 by 2 g 7 by 2 will go up so, g 7 by 2 will go up 2 d so, d 5 by 2 and d 3 by 2 and 3 s s half and so on. We can do as we will do a similar analysis there, but first look at those lower energy levels right. The uh, occupancies how many quantum states are there these are energy levels at this energy you can still have more than one quantum states right. At this energy you have se you had several at this energy you had several there is some splitting, but uh, even now it is not that one energy corresponds to one quantum state. Because what we have defined this line for example, this line here it says it is d 5 by 2 of course, that uh, 1 d 5 by 2 this one is also there. So, 1 d 5 by 2. So, that n is fixed n is n is here 1 d. So, that this small n is 0 1 d. So, that n is fixed d means l is fixed l is 2 this 5 by 2 means j is fixed. So, that n is fixed that l is fixed that j is fixed s is fixed 
how much is s half s is half 1 by 2 we are talking of one nucleon one nucleon experiencing this single particle potential so s is half in this particular one j is 5 by 2 and l is 2 and n is 0 1d but you still have mj we have not talked what is mj here and we cannot because all those possible mjs have same energy energy is not depending on mj energy is depending on j okay so for this d5 by 2 for example how many values of mj possible 6 5 by 2 2 minus 5 by 2 in steps of 1 so 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 6 so just look at this number add 1 here if it is 5 by 2 it will be 6 6 values of mj possible 3 by 2 4 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 half 2 half and minus half okay so that is how you can count the number of quantum states there and being uh, fermions one quantum state will contain only maximum one nucleon one proton or one neutron right proton and neutron can go together in that uh, but two protons cannot go into that two neutrons cannot go into that so number of quantum states so let us make a count 2 here 4 here 2 here 6 here 2 4 8 4 2 6 10 6 2 4 8 and so on now where are the energy gaps the first obvious energy gap is here and another obvious energy gap is here and here also you can see although I have not drawn to the scale but still here is a gap here is a gap and then these are close enough and here is a gap so those gaps are to be seen shells close there right now let us call this as one shell and since there is a major energy gap this is another shell and this is one shell because within this the gap is small and then you have a bigger gap here within this you have small energy gap so this is one group and here is relatively bigger energy gap so this is a separate group and then here also you have reasonably good gap so this is one single gap here okay and then you have this this is one group right so group wise counting 2 here and how much is this 6 so this is 6 this group is 2 this group is 6 how much is this group 12 so this group is 12 this group this group 22 we will work on that first look at this so shell closure first shell closes at 2 second shell closes at 2 plus 6 that is 8 so shell closes at shell closes at 2 then shell closes at 8 no big deal then uh, plus 12 that is 20 here also no big deal because these things even without l dot s we had all these things but then now this is separated okay and that is coming because of this l dot s thing otherwise it would have been here so it has been separated out from this the group coming mainly from here and the group coming mainly from here this lies in between so this is that l dot s contribution that it has separated this one 
from this uh, level here and now it stands like its own group. So, shell closes here 28. Uh, so, now you can see the effect of this L dot s. L dot s is rearranging things and it is giving energy gaps at the right places. Next one 22. So, 28 plus 22 50 another magic number coming from experiments. Remember 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 and 126, 126. Right. So, that 50 is, is reproduced. Right. Now, let us look at the next one. Uh, this is G 7 by 2, this H 1 H. How much? is L here 0 1 2 3 4 5. So, 11 by 2 and 9 by 2. Now, 11 by 2 will come down so much that it will almost come here rather this G 7 by 2 I can make little closer. So, say G 7 by 2 is here and this has come down. How much what is this 1 H 11 by 2 and 9 by 2 will go up and all that. So, 7 g 7 by 2 is 8 and this is 12 and this forms a group and how much is this group value 6 plus 2 8, 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 8 20 and 20 plus 12 32. So, this group value is 32. And when you add all these things up to here, it is 50 plus 32 that is 82, right? Correct magic number coming. And similarly, you work out this H 9 by 2 is here, H 9 by 2 is here from this one and this 2f will split in two parts 7 by 2 and 5 by 2 this 3p will split in two parts 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 all these things will will be in this group and from this 1i huh 13 by 2 13 by 2 and 11 that 13 by 2 will come down and join this group Right. After this, see what happens here the splitting is small. So, it is it's fine this was a group, this is a group. So, it remains almost the same, S the same story here. Here this 1 f the highest L value and with that L plus half j equal to L plus half that comes down so much that it leaves this group and here it is floating in between it is floating in between, but later it will join the lower group. This 1 g, this g 9 by 2 here, this 1 g, this g 9 by 2, it has come down so much that it is joining this group. These are the levels coming from this group, splitting of this group. So, this joins this group and that will happen everywhere. This 1 h, this 1 h 11 by 2. So, it has been pushed down so much that it is now joining these levels which are generally coming from this level. From this level this 2 d you have this d 3 by 2 and d 5 by 2 and this 3 s. So, these levels are coming from this group and this h 11 by 2 has been pushed down so much that it is now joining this group. Similarly, here this 1 g was g 9 by 2 was pushed so much that it was joining it joined this group which are gen, which is generally coming from here. Similar story was here this was also come down this also came down, but not uh, that much is just in between. So, it formed its own group. So, this uh, phenomena of the highest L value and j equal to L plus half that is pushed down to that lower group you add that. So, so, you do that and you find that uh, 
the next shell closure will be at 126. That is your task. Huh? So, the magic numbers are reproduced very well once you put this L dot S right on the harmonic oscillator potential. Now, I choose harmonic oscillator because writing these energy levels is, is very simple. But then uh, the order of levels, order of these uh, uh, states, this order uh, it is really sensitive to what you are choosing square well potential or harmonic potential or wood section potential or rounded edge and so on. So, as far as magic number as are concerned you understand this mechanism and you can work with this harmonic oscillator potential and get those magic numbers. But if uh, you go if you use this if you use this level diagram for other properties like how much is the spin of oxygen nucleus or uh, platinum nucleus or so on. Then these orders of this level is also important and there one must use uh, not this harmonic potential something else some as something something else. So, for example, here the order that you are seeing here 3 by 2 here 1 by 2 here phi by 2 here and so on these orders can be different ok. The effect that means, do not take this scheme as th uh, up to this up to here it is it is fine up to here it is fine up to here it is fine up to here also it is fine that ordering will not change whether you take finite square well potential or you take a wood section potential or whatever you take up to here this order will be the same beyond this if you go here, here these, these orders do not take very seriously because uh, now you have to uh, take more realistic potentials. If you really want to see whether this S half is here and then D 3 half is here or G 7 by 2 comes here, these uh, finer details if you wish to go into which you need if you use this scheme to predict various measurable quantities then you will have to uh, look for better that is one. Second thing is there are two, two three things I would like to talk. Second thing is this uh, this uh, whole energy levels uh, will depend on or the potential itself that single particle potential itself the parameters of that will depend on the size of the nucleus. For example, if you take a uh, wood section, wood sec section potential you had that V V naught divided by 1 plus e to the power r minus capital R. Now, this capital R depends on uh, uh, the size. So, it is not the same potential for which which is applicable to beryllium and which is applicable to phosphorus and which is applicable to zirconium as a function of this uh, new, this total mass number the potential itself has to change that happens in uh, atomic physics also if it is a hydrogen atom is one proton if it is a uh, helium you have two protons so potential is different yeah. although the form remains the same it's a 1 by r type potential but then uh, the, the the depth of the potential is different right the energy the value of energy if it is hydrogen atom you know ground state energy is minus 13.6 eV, but if it is helium or and there are two electrons, but you still say that ok I solve that single particle potential and this is 1 s state and this is 2 s state and so on. So, both the electrons of helium are in 1 s state, hmm. but that 1 s energy is not minus 13.6 eV because you have to take two protons into account right the radius atomic radius is different. So, z a naught becomes a naught divided by z and all those things right. If you go for higher uh, higher at, uh, atomic numbers for the this then uh, the 1 s energy it is so high 1 s 2 s these energies are so high that x rays which are emitted are in kilo electron volt remember that 
that is from the same atomic transitions k k alpha it goes from 2 p to 1 s electron d excites from 2 p to 1 s and gives you k alpha and k alpha energy for iron is 6.4 kilo electron volts. So, that means those 1 s 2 s 2 p uh, the energy differences are kilo electron volts it is no more minus 13.6 e v. So, the, the, the energies the values of energies they are ordering and uh, all these will also depend on the mass of the nucleus heavier is the mass you will have different low energies things are, are more or less uh, settled. If you have light nuclei up to say 20 uh, up to 20, 25, 28, 30 uh, it is almost the same, but then if you go for heavier nuclei then uh, exactly the same thing you cannot cram and say that this is applicable for for everything. Okay? All right, we will talk from here.